Ready to drop, Captain. Ready. We don't want it. We're here to help. I'm Captain Barnacles of the Octonauts. And I'm Min. I'm an Octo agent, and I make maps. Hmm. Map? Yes. A map shows you how to get from one place to another. And look, I have a map that shows a way to get from this bamboo forest to a new bamboo forest. And there's plenty for you to eat there. So, here's the plan. We'll take you to the new bamboo forest in the Octoray. Now, if you'll uh, just come with me... Mm. Oh! My bamboo! Careful. Pandas are solitary creatures. They aren't very social. They like being alone. Oh, so I see. Hmm. This is a problem. Well then, if he won't let us take him to the new forest in the Octoray, then maybe we can lead him there somehow? Captain, I have some bamboo biscuits in my bag. Aha! I can use them to lead the panda to the new forest. You said it was this direction, right? Oh, well, yes, but, uh, Captain, uh... Here you go. Come on, big fella. Lovely bamboo biscuits. Mm. Gimme, gimme, gimme. That's right, yes. Come on, this way. Good panda. Oh, yes. Come on. There we are. Captain! Whoop. Whoa! <laughs> Oh, I was afraid of that. The ground here is covered in moss. Lots of wet, slippery moss. Uh-oh. That's the last of the bamboo biscuits. Time for a new plan. Agreed. Let's make a bamboo corridor. We can create it, but first... We'll need some bamboo. Ah, I like this plan, and I know just how to get some bamboo. Do you see the armadillo yet? Uh, we don't, don't see anything. Huh. Well, I hear something. Help! Help! Sounds like someone's in danger. Uh, over there! Help! Uh, guess there's still a few hot spots left over from yesterday's fire. I'll get the armadillo. Pa, you and Dashi put out the fires. On it! It's okay. Fires are out. <gasps> the turtle egg! <gasps> Run! <laughs> Wait! She's got the turtle egg! Follow that armadillo! Sure did. When armadillos are frightened, they can leap three to four feet in the air. <gasps> Look! She's heading into the river! <gasps> oh no! All that heavy armor covering her must have made her sink! Wait for it. That's right, Tweak. Armadillos can fill their bellies with air so they can float. Well, that's a relief. But we still gotta catch up with her. Yeah, gotta get Belle's egg back. <gasps> She's sinking! Don't worry, we'll save her. Oh. Hey, whoa! Oh, you okay, Pa? Yeah, oh, it's just, uh, huh, I didn't know the gub cake could go underwater like this. I've lived in the Everglades my whole life. 
But I've never been under its waters. It's amazing. Are you sure your sister is meeting us here, Shellington? I don't see Pearl anywhere. I tweak. Pearl's been doing field work here in the Bauaviasia forest. She should be here very soon. Oh, wait. There she is. Hi, Tweak. Hi, Uncle Shellington. <laughs> I brought my own gum M. I made it myself. Oh. <laughs> oh. She did a nice job there, Perry. But maybe you'd like to give your mom a break from your toy? Oh, that's all right, little brother. It makes a lovely back scratcher. <laughs> but come over here. I want to show you something. Oh, hoof prints. That's strange. It's much too large to be a deer. <laughs> Actually, it looks like... Bison hoof prints. I know. But I've only ever seen them in North America. Ah, according to the creature collection, there is a creature in this part of Europe called a weasant. A weasant? Aye, it's a European cousin of the North American bison. What's it look like? Uh, well, I'm not sure. I've never seen one, so we don't have a picture of it in the creature collection. But we do have a picture of the North American bison. They're enormous creatures with sharp horns. Sharp horns? <laughs> yes, dear, but there's nothing to be scared of. Like many other animals, they have horns to defend themselves. But otherwise, they're very calm and peaceful creatures. Although they can be quite dangerous when they're scared. So what would scare a weasant? Not much, really. They don't have any predators. Oh, well, except for the occasional brown bear. But that would be very, very rare. Right, Uncle Shellington? What? Oh, uh, of course. <laughs> very rare. <laughs> now, let's see. According to the creature collection, bison spend most of their day just roaming and resting and eating. So weasons probably do too. Looks like something took a nibble out of this here tree branch. Aye. Eating stems, fruit, bark and other things high up is called browsing. But bison only graze on plants that are low to the ground. Then maybe it was a bear. Hold up. I hear something rustling and snorting over there in the forest. Oh, <gasps> is it a bear? No, dear. It's probably just a gentle wascent. Bears don't leave hoof prints like this. Just sit right here. Look, these hoof prints are different from those of bison. According to the creature collection, bison hoof prints would be closer together. Animals with longer legs usually leave hoof prints that are farther apart. So whatever made these prints probably has longer legs than a bison. Here's that noise again, and it's getting closer. Where's Periwinkle? A Periwinkle? I think I hear him that away. We need to find him. This is the canopy layer, the leafy green treetops. At least it used to be leafy and green. I was afraid of this. Water has to travel all the way up a tree from its roots. So when a tree dries up, the top branches dry out first. No wonder the howlers had to move down to the understory. There's no shade up here and nothing to eat. This tree is too dried up, I'm afraid. The creatures here need to find a new home very soon. But how can we help? Oh. Ooh. Excuse me, are you okay? Yes, I'm okay. I'm sorry, but you'll have to find a new healthy tree to live in. This one's drying out. Yes, I know, but it's so hot. I'm too weak to move. Dashi the Tweak. We're ready to stop the water drop. Just in time. Okay, Dashi, drop away. <sighs> oh. My babies are hatching. Oh. Oh. Just like when I was a baby. Hey, little guys. <sighs> I haven't felt this good in months. I've got more than enough energy to find a new home. Look at me go! It's working! Even if we can't help all the trees, at least we're helping the creatures around here who need water. Looks like we need to go and fill up with more water. Thanks, Yashi. This should give the critters in this tree enough time to find a new home. 
And we'd better get this little eaglet back to his home. Harpy eagles usually nest in the emergent layer, the tops of the very tallest trees that poke up above the canopy. Then let's keep climbing. <laughs> oh, oh. The branches up here are so dry and weak, they won't support the Terragup 5's weight. We'll have to use climbing claws the rest of the way. I can't carry you and climb at the same time, unless... <laughs> That's better. I think perhaps I should stay in the Terragup 5. I'm not much of a climber, and I'd like to write down all the fascinating things we've seen while they're still fresh in my mind. Okay, Professor. We'll be back before you can say bunch of munchy crunchy carrots. My trip to the Amazon rainforest has certainly been... <laughs> Oh, my. <gasps> Fascinating. And potentially very dangerous. Lonely, lonely, lonely. You think this will work? If there are any more water frogs out there, they'll have a much better chance of hearing you this way. It's coming from downstream. Sit tight, Ernesto. We're going to investigate. There! Oh. Are you Suenka's water frogs? Oh, yes, we are. Oh, dear. You look sick. Shellington, do you think they might have? Mm, yes. They're showing symptoms of the fungus sickness. We do not feel good. My name's Peso, and I'm a medic. I have a special ointment that should make you feel better. Oh, be careful not to touch them. Why? Will we get sick? No, the fungus only affects amphibians like frogs, toads or salamanders. But we don't want to spread it to other locations or to other frogs like Ernesto. I'll be careful. Gracias, senor. Oh, that feels so much better. Good thing, too. Wouldn't want you getting Ernesto sick. Ernesto? Who is Ernesto? Ah, he's your cousin, I suppose. He's been looking for other Sewenkas water frogs like you. Do not know of any other Sewenkas water frogs? When can we meet this Ernesto? Unfortunately, not yet. I'm going to have to quarantine you until the fungus is completely gone from your skins. Quarantine? What is quarantine? You just have to stay in this bubble for a few days until the fungus is all gone so you don't spread the disease to the water or other creatures. We had to use clean water. I tested it to make sure there's no fungus in it. Oh, gracias, Senor Shellington. You're eager to be with another water frog, but we don't want to make him sick like us. That doesn't mean you can't meet him by Octowatch. Ernesto, say hello to your new cousins. <laughs> hello. hello! I knew it! I knew that if I just kept calling out that someday I would find a family. Don't leave. No more. Wait, Ernesto! Mi familia! I am coming! Honey! <laughs> you need to stop Ernesto. There's a fungus in this stream that could make him sick. We'd better keep an eye out for Ernesto before he gets too close to the stream. Already after him. Hello. Oh, have you spotted Ernesto? No, this is a call for help. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, I've got this. Excuse me, is anyone here missing a zebra baby? He looks like this. Huh, well. We zebras have stripes all over. This baby's stripes don't really go all over. So, you're saying this baby could be a jungle ghost? Huh? <laughs> I'm saying I don't think this baby is a zebra. I'm not a zebra. Don't worry, we'll find your mom. In the meantime, you must be hungry. Here, have a kelp cake. Hang on, your tongue doesn't look like a zebra's tongue at all. Your tongue looks a lot like a giraffe's tongue. Are you a giraffe? I'm a giraffe. <laughs> a tweak, quasi. Are there any giraffes near you? Hang tight. A 
I've got this one. Ahoy! We're helping a lost baby giraffe find his mother. Does this little nipper belong to one of you? That's no giraffe. Even though his tongue is long like ours. <laughs> I'm not the giraffe? Hmm, strange. One of my critter recorders is picking up infrasonic noises, but they're not coming from our little guy. That sounds like Mum. I don't hear anything. I'll turn up the volume. Ah, too loud. Oh, sorry. Your ears must be very sensitive to be able to hear things that we can't. Are you sure that was your mom? Oh, yes. That's my mom. I want to see my mom. Well, I suppose we can make an exception to the stay put rule. Tweak, that infrasonic noise could be the baby's mom. It's not far from us, so we'll meet you there. Here's the critter recorder that picked up the sound. And that must be the critter that's making the infrasonic noises. Ahoy! What sort of animal are you? We know you're not a zebra. Or a giraffe. That's because I'm an okapi. Well, Mum, we found your baby. Mama! Ronald, what are you doing? You can't be here. You have to stay in your nest for protection. You see, we okapis have special feet that let out a smell and create a stinky trail wherever we go. Ooh, I smell what you mean. Even though baby okapis don't smell quite as strong as their mamas, it's best for them to stay put so they don't make a scent trail. Mama! That is interesting. But why is having a scent a problem? Because our scent can attract... <gasps> leopards! I thought I smelled one okapi. But it looks like I found two wakapis for lunch. <laughs> Lucky me. Run, Ronald, run! Ow! There won't be any wakapi on the menu today, matey. <gasps> Where'd that roar come from? I'm not sure I want to find out. Well, I'm not going to be tired of food. Come on, up this tree! Jumping jellyfish, that's an aimed a Chinese tiger, an endangered species. It's very rare to see one these days. <laughs> but what's it doing in a cave? I don't know, but we're running out of tree. Look! We found you. Unfortunately, you're not the only one who found us. Huh? Yes, she lift us up. Hurry! Wait! <gasps> oh, my poor! Yes, she lower us back down. We need to help that tiger. She's hurt. Are you sure about this? She's an endangered species. There are only a few of them left in Vietnam. Hello, we're the Octonauts. We're here to help. So please don't eat us. Eat you? Oh, no, I already ate this morning. I'm lost. I was following you to find the way out of this cave. There you go, good as new. Oh, thank you. Uh, do you think I can trouble you for a lift out of here? Of course. Let's get you back to your natural habitat. I'm Captain Barnacles. I, matey. Come on, everyone join in. Right, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> 